whilst this won't 100% guarantee a plus grades. It'll give you a good understanding of each of the elements that go into improving student grades and achieving those high results at the end of the year. It's no surprise the core thing to think about is your campus providing the right level of equipment staff and resources for your students, with classrooms and lecture halls being the key areas in which your students will be taught. You'll want to ensure that they are filled with the items and furniture your students need. Don't worry if you can't afford or don't have every item unlocked initially. You can build upon each room with each new academic year to understand what equipment you'll need for the new year. You can view the details of the courses you run before the next year starts. You'll find these in the course management window by looking at the next year's campus requirements window and by looking at more details in the edit course menu on the requirements tab. The other thing to be aware of with your equipment is that many core items can be upgraded, such as the robotics project in the robo construction and the lectern in the lecture room. You'll need to research the upgrade first. Then have a janitor with maintenance who can perform it. These can be costly but are worth it. Be aware that your upgrades aren't cloned if you clone a room so you'll need to perform the upgrade manually each time, outside of core lessons. Your students will look to learn more. The two main rooms you'll want for this are libraries and private tuition rooms. There are dedicated bookcases for some subjects, which will help your students learn more in the libraries. And you'll want an assistant with library management to be available. As for private tuition, you'll want to ensure you've got additional free teachers who can provide this service. They'll need private tuition skill, which you can train your existing staff. Speaking on training, like updating equipment, is crucial to the service you provide to your students. You'll want to ensure you're regularly training your staff as the higher level staff will give your pupils a greater understanding of the subject. You'll need a training room. Training itself can take some time to complete. If you can't afford the training room or don't want to wait the time, you could consider hiring new higher level staff. Just be careful with this method that you don't end up spending a fortune on your staff and that you aren't overstaffed or else you'll be losing a lot of money a month with no real benefit once you have everything in place for private tuition. Your students will start to seek this out and benefit. You can also send students for the extra tuition in the student list menu. So if you've got a student who's partying every night and not revising, you can try to help them improve. The student's happiness also plays a part. They are more likely to want to learn if they are happy. Make sure to provide enough food and drink, dorm rooms and social spaces, as well as regular events and ensure your campus is clean, attractive and comfortable as the game progresses. You'll also need to make sure you solve health and pastoral issues for your students within the medical office and pastoral support rooms. Now, as long as you're looking after your staff with regular breaks, Happy thoughts, qualifications and not overworking them, you should be on the road to success, as grades are such a core part of the game. There's a lot that goes into it. Don't worry if you don't get everything right or at times struggle to balance a few things, as long as you are working towards improvements. Your average grade rating will go up in the bottom right corner, and you'll earn more XP bonus income each month. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button to let me know. I'll have more videos soon, so if you don't want to miss out, make sure to hit that sub too. But until next time, have a great day and I'll catch you soon.